So some of the consequences of the holes in these studies, um, first of all, is that the severity of violence is overlooked. Um, as Baker and Cunningham point out, there's no distinction between uh, patriarchal terrorism and common couple violence, despite the fact that the impact on the victims and the families can be very, very different in each of these cases, and so is the treatment and the intervention. Now, we found that Stern's autoethnography almost offers a remedy to this scenario where we see that um, the lived experiences of victims are absent from academic data. So through her use of feminism as a performance of healing, um, she's able to ground the experiences of her childhood within the data on domestic violence. Um, this also offers some insight into the role of time, memory, and development in resiliency and healing. Um, for example, through her process, she uh, shares with us that she's able to forgive her mother, um, which she wasn't able to do when she was a younger child, but that she still has not come to a place where she's able to forgive Eric. And I find it really interesting how Stern's piece is both an academic commentary on domestic violence and resilience, but it's also an act of resiliency and healing in and of itself.